Nothing prepared me for this moment. How can someone selfish raise a child in this lifetime and be ready to start your own family? But life is full of mysteries. I've always believed that things happen for a reason and that the universe gives us exactly what we need at the right moment. We may question it and we may not understand at the moment, but one day we'll look back and finally have our answers. This is my pregnancy journey so far. And I'm happy to be a mom. I just didn't expect it. I just didn't expect it to be this soon. I honestly wanted a family in the future, but yeah. I guess I'm just really scared of the responsibility because like financially it's a lot, emotionally, physically. I don't know if I'm capable so far Ethan during your first trimester. Cause your body is so picky. You're so sensitive to smell. I remember I was six week ago, I guess. But I started showing symptoms. Uh, anything fried, like just smelling it from the kitchen. It makes me so nauseous already. And even when I came here in Bangkok the first day, I was going around this food court and everything that I smell, oh my god, it was so bad. And then I started throwing up the next day. I threw up my breakfast. Medyo sayang, to be honest, because I mean, I spent for it. Like, I grab ko pa siya. It's twice the price compared to the Philippines. But yeah, I ko lang siya before going out. And then I didn't eat after a long time. Next meal, ko na, it was around 5 to 6 p.m. And thankfully, my body could take it. I love to eat. So it's hard now that I can't digest food that much. But yeah, hopefully it will get better. Hopefully it will get better by the second trimester. But yeah, I'm nearing the end of the first trimester already. Just a few more weeks. I remember the first friend that I met in the Philippines. It was my best friend, Annika. We went to Rustad's to check out baby stuff. And she was so surprised because like, out of everyone in the friend group, I'm the type of person talaga who will veer away from kids. Like, I don't find kids cute. Like, okay, just let, I, I just let them be. But I'm not a fan of kids, I'll be honest. But I guess it's different when it's yours. And I could only hope to be a good mom to my kid. Ooh, the pressure is real, honestly. I'm so scared because I want to give my baby a good life. Like, not just a good life, but the best life he or she could possibly have. So, yeah, super grabbing pressure for me. I'm a selfish person, so, like, now, I need to know really good easy bit. I have to think about my kid. I'm actually excited to announce it to my roommates. I told my HR already a few days or weeks ago. She knew before my family knew. Because I had to inform her with legalities and stuff. And also my doctor, I went to see her a few days ago. She also know, she knows her and now my family doesn't know. And I'm actually thankful to my OB because like our first checkup was like a therapy session. She was helping me cope. She was helping me process things more and like that I should love my family and stuff like that. It's hard to keep it by myself. It's hard to keep it all to myself. For the past few weeks, that's what I've been doing. 
keeping everything to myself. And it's hard because like, they didn't know that I was not feeling well almost every night last week I was throwing up and I was feeling lethargic I'm just glad I could walk now and do things like I don't really get that tired surprisingly as compared to the first few weeks but yeah I can't eat oh god it's hard I don't want to cry anymore I was so happy this morning, this afternoon. I spent the day being a child again. Because I took this trip also for myself while I can. While I can do things on my own for myself. Oh. And it feels nice to be a kid again. I just want to be a kid again. I fucking hate the dog thing. Ooh. But yeah. I can do this. Trust in the process. Ooh. almost three months pregnant this is like 10 weeks it may not seem like a lot but I actually gained weight already and it's getting bigger like yeah this is 10 weeks I can see the difference and I can feel the difference my workmates have been very helpful to me and it's about time that I reveal to them also because I have to inform them. So I decided to surprise them the fun way because I'm not a basic mom. I'm a cool mom. I'm not just a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. If you know, you know. But we're gonna be meeting next week. So I'm gonna do it the fun way. I'm gonna do the baby reveal in a fun way. So I decided to get some loot bags from Shopee. Got these back in Manila. So I got the baby shark uh, loot bag. It's funny because this one is a running joke or like it's an inside joke that we have because like whenever you talk about babies and kids, it's always baby shark and I actually like baby shark. And then I got some mini envelopes. So this one is blue and this one is pink because I don't know the gender yet. So I'm just gonna surprise them uh, and tell them that a brand mom baby is probably on its way. I mean, a brand mom baby is on its way. So I'm just gonna write it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it inside or just right here. And yeah, I'm gonna be giving out some potion, the candies, and like the chips right there. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. This is so exciting. It's like being a kid all over again. I'm so excited for this chapter of my life probably gonna be a cool mom I love celebrating so I'm excited to celebrate like his or her birthday and stuff like that okay now everything's laid out I'm probably just gonna do this last I'm gonna show you guys later but yeah I'm gonna do the candies and the bento things first and also the layers one fuck oh so colored I don't have scissors how am I gonna open this without ripping it apart Okay, time to sort it out. I hope it's cash away because it's kind of small. See, it won't fit in. So 
I just place one lace, one bento, some candies, and then the poishan and the envelope. I'm gonna put that later. Ikasha yung poishan inside the envelope. So, I'm just gonna put it to the bag. I'm gonna do a different thing here. I might just look for a notepad tomorrow so I can write on that and I'm gonna insert it here. So tomorrow na lang to, I'm actually tired there in the month. I'm just gonna put the last um last goody for each loot. So I'm just gonna put the poison like this one. Tada! Here's everything that I finished tonight. I'm just gonna continue tomorrow, but it's so fulfilling to look at. But I am glad I got to experience this in this lifetime. I've kept my pregnancy private for the past few months. But the time has come. I am happy to finally share we have a healthy baby on the way. That moment was priceless. What a joy to see myself smile like that at her kid. Because knowing me and my stance on kids, I never expected that. I already know this baby is going to be well loved. And I will give everything that I can because that was a promise I made to myself long before. That once I have my own family, I will not let my child feel what I have experienced growing up. And everything I have longed for, I will provide for my chosen family. This is my chosen family. To our genetically blessed baby, thank you for choosing us, for being strong, and for being healthy. 
Please help mom have a safe and normal delivery. I pray that you grow up to be a happy, smart, loving, and responsible child. May you thrive in this lifetime, and may the universe be easier on you than it is on me. We can't wait to meet you, our little one. Nothing comes close to the life that you hold in your arms Through sunshine and rain, it's good all the same You face it together, you share more than a name Through sunshine and rain, you'll come out okay You're never 